Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 10th. Okay, so you know the timing is fluid, so it doesn't have to happen right on the 10th. Could be happening now, could be happening on the 10th, could be happening the next day, could be happening next week. Uh, this reading is not sign specific, that means it could be for you, it may or may not be for you, it doesn't matter what sign you are. Um, this reading may not be for you. Let's see what comes up. What do we have for around the 10th? From now until the 10th or thereabouts or something like that. King of Cups. King of Cups. Now this is somebody that is very feeling expressing somebody that has a big heart that is looking for love so somebody is looking for love this is a romantic hangman reverse struggling though this is somebody that is struggling they're fighting their inner self it's like they're fighting what their heart wants their heart wants love but they may be in denial of it. You know what I mean? This is somebody that may be protecting themselves. Knight of Cups. Now, there's going to... this. There, there's somebody that here that really, really is looking for love with the Knight of Cups and the, the King of Cups, okay? This is somebody that is really, really... Wanting a relationship, probably has their eyes on somebody, has been in a period of solitude probably for a good period of time with that hangman reversed. They've probably been protecting themselves, going through a period of enlightenment, but they really want a relationship, but they kind of like their solitude as well because of the hangman, which is typically a loner, you know? Anyhow, the Knight of Cups is really wanting a relationship. I think that there's somebody could be keeping it to themselves, though. There could be, you know, somebody that is going to express their feelings or they're going to flirt. There could be some flirting going on or... I mean, the Knight of Cups is somebody that is a very, very, um, if you look at the horse even, uh, shy almost, cunning, okay, but cute, very, very cute. So I think there could be some words that are said, there could be some flirta flirting or something like that. Hmm. Page of Wands Reverse. Now the Page of Wands Reverse is somebody that is very pessimistic. Some We may have an individual here that has a self-image problem. This could be a level, I mean, with these two cards, there could be some sort of confusion. There could be, so there could be indecision. We have somebody here that, you know, they may, ha I think they have their eye on a new suitor. Or they have their eye on somebody, but they're unsure. They may be fearful a little bit. And I do feel like there is some sort of fear here. But definitely um, flirtatious. So there could be some flirting going on. Hmm. Uh, Ace of Wands reverse. Now that is no desire. That's no desire, no passion. Not taking action. So somebody may not take action. They could be stubborn. Okay. Uh, they're refusing to let go of their old ways as well. You know, this is somebody who can't let go, won't change. Very, very stubborn. May see, may be a martyr of some sort. Not taking any action, but does see an opportunity for happiness. So this is interesting. We have somebody here that wants a relationship deep down. Deep down, they want a relationship, but 
They're very stubborn, very set in their ways, not taking action, very pessimistic, but they do see an opportunity for happiness. Now, the Knight of Cups is a dream come true. It's wish fulfillment. It's everything you ever asked for. Okay, this is an opportunity for abundance. It's like this is deep fulfillment. This could be deepening a bond. It could be, you know, there's an opportunity for great happiness should somebody step outside of their comfort zone and, you know, stop wasting their time, stop sacrificing themselves and trying to prove a point to themselves or to somebody else. Hmm. Three of Cups reversed. That's lack of emotional growth. Um, Three of Cups reversed is parting ways of some sort. Termination. Uh, a star, yes. We have a wish being granted here. Some of these prayers have been answered. It's like they have they it's like they have been guided to somebody that is exactly who they prayed for, but their pessimism and their fear and their old ways are stopping them from taking action. The three of cups reversed is you know not happy that's not happy somebody could be fearful of a third party situation fearful of the competition somebody could be fearful of the competition there's dashed expectations with pessimism here so it feels like somebody's prayers have been answered with the star and the nine of cups but there's too much pessimism there's there's too much um, maybe this person's been alone for a long time in the hangman in reverse state. You know, they've been alone for a while and, you know, hmm. Now this is being weighed down. Somebody is being weighed down. And they're we being weighed down by their old perspective or, or needing to protect themselves. They could have ego. I mean, the hangman is a card of ego. But anyhow, six of wands is uh, the end of a battle. So it's victory after sorrow. It's... Uh, headed towards happiness. Somebody has an opportunity for happiness. They absolutely do. For wish fulfillment. This is the end of the battle. The battle is over. There's the your the fight is over. The worst is over. This is definitely an opportunity for a relationship. It's an opportunity for happiness. We have a warrior here. This is a hero of some sort that has fought a hard battle. And maybe that's why they're not excited. They're not too excited. They have a you know, they kind of, they want a relationship. I know that they do. They have a very big heart. We have somebody here that has a big heart that, you know, has a lot of love to offer. But they're not very excited about giving it because they've had to fight. They've had to fight so much in the past. And now it's made them feel like, why waste my time? Why waste my time on a relationship? Because I don't want to fight. I don't want to play any games. I, I'd rather be alone. I mean, the hay man is typically a loner. Anyhow, but this is a this is a, the Nine of Cups with a star card is a wish being granted. It's the answer to your prayers. So I think that we have an individual that um, is feeling very pessimistic about following their dreams, about going after love or whatever it is, or they're having a hard time doing so. Um, they may have been cheated on in the past. And maybe something has come in that they were unprepared for. This is not prepared. They were not prepared for this arrival. They were not prepared for this uh, relationship or whatever ship has come in. Totally unprepared for it. Um, 
But the star card is a card of hope. It's help arriving after the tower falls. I thought I'd turn that off. Apparently I didn't. Anyhow, it's help. So it's help arriving. It's it's your fairy godmother, okay? The star is your fairy godmother that brings you an opportunity that leads to guaranteed success. So there's an opportunity for guaranteed success here in a relationship should somebody be able to uh, follow their heart. They need to follow their heart. But there's a lot of pessimism. There's definitely a lot of pessimism. Um, this is a blessing. It's a blessing in disguise after the tower has fell. Now somebody was with an individual in the past that probably cheated on them or left them high and dry and it wasn't a good match. And, you know, it made them feel like they don't ever want to be with anybody again, you know. And but it, now something has come in that is uh, beautiful because the stars are beautiful, okay? Now this is a new purpose. Everything happens for a reason. King of Swords. Now the King of Swords is somebody who is very decisive. This person investigates and communicates. Okay, this person is a communicator. Even though it's hard and difficult, this person will communicate. So, so there is going to be some sort of communication. There is a decision that is being made right now. Um, I think this person is discerning the situation. They are discern discerning their feelings. They are trying to figure out, you know, what path they want to take. Um... This is a decision maker. There is going to be a conversation. This is somebody that uses their head, typically. And they are going to have to make a decision. You know, do they follow their heart or do they, you know, be follow their head? You know, we have heart versus head. Um, I also feel like there's going to be some um, challenging information that comes through. Okay, there could be some challenging. I'm going to change the story a little bit because I feel like there's another story here. I feel like there's some bad news coming. Okay, with the Page of Wands reversed, the King of Swords, and even the Knight of Cups. And the Three of Cups reversed. There could be some drinking and driving. You know, I'm not sure if there is, but this is drinking, okay, on the, on the horse, which could be a motorcycle or even a vehicle. So there could be some drinking and driving, okay, and, and you know, this is, uh, uh, you know, this party is over. The, the Three of Cups reversed, this party is over. So this is um, getting caught, perhaps, could be by the law, could be law enforcement. If somebody is out drinking and driving, I would be, I wouldn't advise it. I wouldn't advise it. Um, this is help. This is help arrive, arriving. This is this is this could be law enforcement. Um, and this is bad news. Okay, bad news. Um, now you could be dealing with the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Aquarius here. We have Aquarius here. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. A couple times. Um, I do feel like there is a decision that is being made. Um, it's a very firm decision. Uh, there's no turning back once the decision is made. There's no turning back. I think that this is a blessing in disguise. Whatever is happening is an absolute blessing. This star is a blessing. It happens for a reason. And, and it happens to bring somebody towards abundance okay to the battle is over the fight is over the the war is over okay somebody could be going down and they could be getting arrested okay no i just changed the story because i had to okay so i had to you see the arms behind the back somebody could be be arrested they could be arrested for acting impulsively for acting without thinking um, they could have too much to drink. So I feel like that, that for some of you, this somebody has a drinking problem and something goes in the wrong direction. Um, this person is, is uh, the King of Swords is somebody that is very protective. This protective person is in the process, is going to be making a decision. 
okay they're going to make an, a decision and they are going to make the right decision as well i feel like this person is very discerning very intelligent very wise very smart they are going to make a very wise decision based on some sort of truth i don't think it's going to be easy though i don't think it's going to be an easy decision because of the look on his face okay he's not happy that he has to make this decision but he has to i think there's a little bit of you know discontent there um this is parting ways and maybe that the decision is so difficult because you ha when you have to make a decision it's obviously a choice between two paths right and so maybe when this person has to make a decision they have to part ways with somebody else okay um so yeah i feel like in the next very very soon we have, and it could be very, a very emotional time, okay, with the King of Cups, the Knight of Cups, and the, and the uh, Nine of Cups, and even the Three of Cups reverse. I think it's going to be very emotional. I think there's emotions all over the place. Um, there could be an offer of emotional support coming in as well. You know, we have somebody that is very compassionate that is coming in. Um, they have a lot of love and, and care to offer, and they're going to be uh, communicating and offering support. One more card. It is going to be emotional. I knew that it was. Queen of Cups in reversed is deep sadness. Okay? It's it's heartbreak. It's disappointing. It's uh, drowning in emotion. So we could have somebody here that is not able to master their emotions very well. And there's tears all over the place. Or they act recklessly. Or they, you know... Um, act in a revengeful manner somebody could do something revengeful because the hurt you know pain causes a reaction so somebody may do something revengeful because their heart is broken and it gets them in trouble um or there's just a lot of tears with the queen of cups reversed there's a, there's it's definitely going to be an emotional time So anyway, I feel like I feel like we have a very um, complex situation unfolding in the next. I don't know. I feel like it's twenty four hours. I do. I feel like it's twenty four hours. I think there's there's guidance here. I think somebody is being guided. I think that they're being guided down a new path, and there's resistance. And whether it's the karmic law. Or the universal law. I think the law steps in. And pushes somebody in the direction that they need to go. And that is how I feel. I also feel like there is love here. I feel like there's an opportunity for love. Good luck.